Welcome for not welcome back. I love y'all. What do I get on my shirt? Did I get? Oh, I got Taco Bell on my shirt. If you're not welcome back, I want to say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Comment, like, and subscribe. It's a free way to help support the channel. Non-free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below and uh, super chats as well. Um, become a member, join Patreon, and uh, I'm going to change my shirt real quick. Mm -hmm. So we have a few things to go over today. Uh, also, Rapex of ETH domain so name. If you cannot read that, get some glasses, girl. Or maybe I'll go and re uh, I'll re uh, rewrite that at some point. Anyway. Where was I? We have a couple of things going on. Oh, nice new red shirt. What we'll do is we'll do, go over some sales data. We'll go over some... T <laughs> the lady friend excited for the stream. Um, I guess we have a comment from Mentalox too saying they could have given us ultimate of Bitcoin or guns. You choose, so I see why. Yep. Uh, Texas is doing something really weird and they're just saying that the anti-Bitcoin mining bill in Texas just passed through Senate committee uncontested without a single vote in opposition, which is really heckin' redonkulous. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? So, outside of that, we'll go over some sales. Uh, it was a nice, I don't know, 180k from the uh, from the comic this morning. That one did extraordinarily well. I happened to get lucky. I not only got the drop, I got an ultra rare, sold it for like 120-ish. Um, so made like a, maybe like 90 gems after fees and I used those funds. I bought a sub 100 Scott Lang, which I thought was really good. Um, there's, there was only a couple of Scott Langs left and the, ch the second cheapest was like 150. So when I saw this one for, for 64, that was there since yesterday, I believe. Um, I, I bought, I was like, okay, this, this is, this is dumb. Generally for a first appearance Marvel common, the sub 100s are usually about 10x what the floor is. The floor is about between six and seven dollars to sixty four dollars, so it made sense. But again, typically with with a popular character like Ant Man, it's usually a bit above that because of popularity. Um, when things have been there a while, when you go and you say like, okay, well, the Wakanda Forever one, there's a there's a Queen Ramonda sub 100 that's on sale for like thirty four dollars, and that's technically worth it. Um, but, and the only reason why I haven't gotten it is because I have so many of her already, uh, and she's not as popular of a character. Uh, I, I would say M'Baku is a bit more popular. I feel like a lot of other ones are more popular than her, even though I love her. So, but the Scott Lang, like, he's an Avenger. I mean, technically so is Wasp, but I God, people just did not like Wasp at all. It, like, she was below $4 for, like, ever. Uh, I, you know, I stood the floor on that once, and then other people followed, so she's rarely been below, uh, $4. So uh, the sub 100s on her, the, I, you, I got a couple of hers, uh, or there's there was a bunch of hers for like in the 20s. They're like 24, 25 dollars. Like this is this is dumb. Uh, at the time, I was focusing more on Cassie Langs because I she's kind of the future. She's a future young Avenger. She's a future. Turtle said, "How's the Infinity Gems brew airdrop incoming?" So I actually got it today. Let's uh, what should we do? Should, should we go? Well, let's go into the kitchen. Let, let's get one. Let's pop one off for the stream. Um, it's it's a really cool beer. I'll go and show you guys what it is real quick. Uh, and I'll, I'll drink one on stream for y'all because I... Oh, hi, Bun. I see you see a little bunny there. A little bunny so cute. Uh, I'm going to grab one, and it looks like this. I'll show you in the room. It's purple, so I don't know what flavor it is. Remember in that episode of Dragon Ball Z where uh, Goku gets this medicine from the future that Future Trunks brings him? And I was like, oh, it's purple. I bet it's grape flavored, too. And try as I might to be like Goku, I tried to like grape flavor. And grape was just never my thing. It was never my my flavor. I, you know, zero out of ten would recommend. I hated grape medicine. Remember the medicine Dimatap or, or Robitussin? It was always like grape flavored, and it was just it's just not good. Anyway, um, this is a double IPA. Oh yeah. Oh, so this is Seventh Wave Brewing Infinity Gems New England Double IPA. Um, generally, I don't like IPAs because they're a little bit bitter. This was a double. Um, 8%, 8%, okay, wow, and 16 ounces, okay, so we're, um, 7th Wave is committed to, brew this is not sponsored, by the way, 7th Wave is committed to brewing a great craft beer with local ingredients, reducing our footprint and giving back to our community, our massive 500 kilowatt solar array provides 200% of the brewery's electricity needs, putting us at the forefront of sustainable breweries and supporting our local clean energy economy. Uh, okay, so let's see how this goes, and then I'll get back into the BB stuff. Okay.
I'm not sure what the flavor is. Very hoppy. Oh, hops. Citra Galaxy, El Dorado, Columbus. The malt is two-row, flaked oats, golden naked oats, sweet. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, and I got and I got two of these bad boys. Or I got two cases of four. Anyway, um, where am I going to put you? Put you over there. So yeah, generally when you have the first appearance for Marvels, again the 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 common sub one hundred is about ten x the floor. Uncommon is about eight x. Uh, rares are about six x. Ultra ultra rares used to be about four x, but now they're like two and a half x. Uh, and the secret rares, which used to be two and a half x, they're more like, depending on what it is, more like two x. <clears throat> Excuse me. But again, the farther back in time you go, the more expensive those sub one hundreds will get. Has any? Does anyone remember uh, Planet of the Apes? I think it's the second one. Maybe it's the first one where they say, "The farther time and back you go, the more advanced the civilization." Uh, and they even brought the new one or the new. The new one, like in the two thousand, like two thousand one, two thousand three, whatever it was called, Mark Wahlberg. Can't believe that actually happened. That's still a thing. Um, when Mark Wahlberg goes to go back in time, he goes back in time, but he doesn't go back in time enough. He goes back in time to where, you know, the the apes are like driving on motorcycles, and you know, on the back of the penny, there's a, um, on the back of the penny, there's the Lincoln Memorial, but in this one, the Lincoln Memorial is like an ape memorial. Uh, so he doesn't go back in time enough. Because, again, the more you go back in time, the more advanced the civilization. Apes, after that thing happened, they could use the technology for a little bit. And then, you know, slowly but surely over time, they, they lose that technology. Like a lot of the U.S., they lost the technology to go to the moon. Anyway, this is all going to say that the farther back in time you go with the Marvel Mighties, the more expensive those sub-100s. The exception to that rule is going to be those, uh, what was that movie that nobody liked? I could just go and look at it. Uh, real quick, the exception, you are the only exception. There's like twelve of them. I don't know why my ooh, I don't know why my my uh, thing is not loading right now. I'm on the Wi-Fi, right? I'm on the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Great. Uh, grape is. I, I'm about to rethink this this lady friend if her favorite flavor is grape. I hope she heard me. Grape flavor. Uh, I, oh, that, yes. Sir, the Eternals. The Eternals are the only exception. The exception to this rule is the Eternals because. Nobody liked that movie. Nobody really likes the collectibles. Uh, now, the Eternals are actually very freaking cool. The movie just sucked. Like, Cersei. Cersei gets it on with Tony Stark. Like, yeah, you ever see... Oh, God, what's that movie? Uh, is Billy Madison where he goes from, like, hey, from like third grade to 12th grade? And then the, the bus driver's like, oh, yeah, him and her got it on. When they're talking about the teacher. Um, yeah, Cersei and Tony Stark got it on. It was... They, they do it. Um, you know, at the end of She-Hulk, where she goes, Captain America, fuck! And then, you know, you think she's going to drop the F-bomb, and she definitely does. Uh, but they found out that Captain America actually had sex. Um, her, uh, Cap Captain America was actually there. Uh, Cersei's going to Tony Stark, or Tony Stark's going to Cersei, and is like, hey, listen, we have some major stuff going on. This is the lead-up to uh, Secret Wars. And Cersei's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Captain America's like, Cersei. It's true. And so it's like, <gasps> because, you know, when Captain America says something like, you know, you shut up and listen, uh, he's that respected. Anyway, these guys are really cool. You know, you have Angelina Jolie playing Thena. You have uh, Selma Hayek playing Ajax. Oh, my God. Both of those women. Oh, sorry. Just beautiful. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I know my lady friend's listening right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the exception because nobody really likes those. I guarantee you I could find one now that is... Uh, that is worth it. That is like I'll just try Druig. Again, nobody cares about Druig. There's only 29 of them. The floor is 450, and the sub 100 for him is actually uh, is 85. So not really. He'd, he'd be about 32. But that's the only sub 100 you have. Or, I'm sorry. There's number 41 for 985. But again, no one really. He's he's not one. Um, so yeah. Anyway, move, moving on. We have a bunch of other things to go over. If I go over onto the Twitter. Oh, oh god, hiccups. I'm gonna talk about okay, VV sales numbers. So they made about 185 on the comic book, which was really, really good. That is a Grail comic book. Uh, and then you have a they did about 30. Let's see what we got here. I know I did the math before. So they did about 1,234 sales of the of the uh, Pili Fantasy. 
at thirty dollars. That's about thirty-seven dollars. So Vivi had made over two hundred thousand dollars today, which is really nice. Um, the Peely one. So you know how? Oh, Turtle with a ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much. Saying thanks, Randy, for helping building this community. Let's go, Golden Dragon Club. I need to get a Golden Dragon too, because Squid Cat is just um, Mike Cat. I think two T's on on Twitter. Um, you know, he gives away Omi for for the Golden Dragon. If you didn't know, if you stake, if you stake, put your Golden Dragon for sale at eighty eight thousand gems. Uh, he'll pick like four, like one or four or how many of of the people that are staking, and he'll give them Omi, like just just giving it to him, uh, like. And I, and I've gone over this before a couple times, but I feel like people forget. Like in the Discord last week, um, we were just going over like, oh, somebody was saying, oh, hey, Vivi's not making as much money uh, as they were, so that means they're like not making money. It's like, listen, they might not be making as much money as they were, but you have to also remember, Vivi no longer has to pay that thirty percent to Apple or Google, and people are like, what? And I was like, y you guys know that if you pay on the web app, the web version of Vivi. Not only do you guys not get charged, because if I buy, let's say, 100 gems from the app, like the phone app, um, it, it actually charges me like $112, give or take, or $109. It, and, and on top of that, VV has to pay either Apple or Google, whatever phone you have. They have to pay them 30% of those gem sales, which is freaking ridiculous. Now, that being said... If you buy those same amount of gems on the web app version, not only do you save like 10%, because again, my, my bank would have charged me uh, $109 or $110 for, for 100 gems. On the web app, not only do I only get charged $100, but uh, Vivi does not have to pay Google or Apple that extra 30% fee. And, and, and people just like, they announced, this was a huge thing when they announced it. And I guess newer people just didn't know, or maybe people forgot, or people are lazy to not use the web. I don't know what it is. But anyway, like, you know how in schools there are scholarships that some people get? Like, I remember, I forget, I forget this girl's name, Katie. I remember her name, Katie. I won't, I won't dox her say her last name, but she didn't have, um, she, she got like this Spanish uh, club scholarship from school, from like the school that she was going to. Not because she was Spanish. She was like, she was very white. She's like French or, or something, uh, German maybe. But she got it because nobody else applied for the scholarship. There are so many of these things with utility out there. So many things that people don't know. And you could get it because maybe you're the only one that's going for it. There was a Uncanny X-Men number 64, I think that was. None of them have sold below like $500. And one and a buddy of mine got an auction. He got one at auction for like $140 because nobody checks the auctions. There are so many golden nuggets around here. Just got to look. Just got to look. The beer is really growing on me. Um, so anyway, so they made a couple hundred thousand dollars. It's really good for them. But yeah, so P Peely, I feel like Peely Fantasy would have done much better had it not been for being on the same day as this Grail drop, where everyone's putting their money towards that. It would be no different if they were to go and do a drop on, let's say, like Lambo Day. All the money's going to Lambo. I don't care what it was. It could have been a Marvel Mighty. It could have been a Disney thing. It, People are going for Lambo. So, remember in that uh, uh, Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, where uh, they R2 gets, them, you know, gets the shields back up and running, but they hit like the fuel cell lodge, they hit the fuel cell, and they're, they're leaking fuel, and they have to go down to a, to a planet and repair the ship. And Obi-Wan says, yeah, so the Tatooine, it's small, out of the way. The Control Federation have no presence there. And the pilot's like, how can you be sure? And qui says, it's controlled by the huts. So it's like, the huts. And it's like, yes. And it's like, you can't take the queen there. The huts are gangsters. If they discover her, and then Quan's like, it'd be no different if we were to take her to a planet controlled by the Trade Federation. Except that the huts aren't looking for her, which gives us the advantage. So they had to go to the place anyway. It would be no different if the Peely was was uh was was dropped on a day of another major drop. It's just the unfortunate incident for that. Um, and you have amazing artwork for it. You have the really, really cool uh, advertising. The video was dope. You know how in like the mid to late 2000s or at, like early 2010s, Twilight and Harry Potter would never drop in like the same month or not even like the same quarter. They would always drop at different times of the year. Why? Because they would take away from each other's audience. Um, 
if Peely would have dropped, have its own day, if it would have its own day, its own drop, it would drop a day earlier, it would have done much better. But because it's on the day, that's such an amazing, if it was just a normal comic, it probably still would have done better. This was not just a normal comic. This was a big comic, and 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 Peely got hecked. Peely paid the price. Um, you know, this is a, a brand that's really important to a lot of, you know, people in the eastern part of the world, and you know, it just didn't do well because of the time that it was dropped on. Um, is that Peely's fault? No. Um, oh, I mean, localization will happen at some point. I'm not sure when, but you know, it shall. Anyway, we have a couple other things to move on for. Uh, I want to paraphrase here when I go and I talk to, oh, what is this? Uh, so in the freaking, oh, you're the freaking, okay, that's, okay. <laughs> and then the girl, the, uh, the lady princess I heard, uh, grape is my favorite, and yes, I heard you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm the worst, yes, you are, not, not you, lady, lady friend. Uh, it is another message I got that says I'm the worst, and I am very, very confused on why she's saying that. Uh, also, I'm going to go and ask everyone to smash that like button. Just like that, just like that. It's a free way to help support the channel. I would be super thankful, be super grateful if you did that. Um, we have a, oh, I joined, okay, yes, stream, stream, sorry, no video. Um, we had a buddy of mine go and message me saying like, hey, potential potion analysis. Um, the potion, which I'll go over, it's actually the thumbnail, but I'll go over this anyway. You have 100 platinum mints. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the 100 Platinum Moment Poster Redemptions and the lowest public mints. So all of them, right now, they have 100 mints plus. Uh, as of, I think, yesterday, I think Donald only had like 97, uh, or I guess 98, because it's plus 8 now. So going from highest to lowest is Mickey at 155 posters that were redeemed. Dumbo with 152 posters. So even though Dumbo was the scarcest drop, Mickey is the one that is most um, is, is most popular that people people want. And I understand why. Uh, but anyway, Dumbo had 152. You had Mini with 128. I I don't know what Mini is right now, but I will bet you dollars to donuts that Mini the 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 platinum statue goes and outperforms uh, uh the platinum. So the platinum Mini statue will outperform Dumbo at some point. I don't know when. Uh, all right, let's take a look at it here now. Mini's at 99 gems. That is so cheap. Who the fudge is selling that for 99 gems? Um, just just people taking crazy pills, that's who. Uh, and then you have... People just don't understand it yet, but they will. Oh, hey, here's that gold dragon I was talking about. You can get for 190 and potentially... Oh, wow, that's a really thin floor, too. 90, 225, 240, 240, 330. Yeah, that's, that's a really thin floor. There's a couple things with thin floors. Um, I can't find this on just searching for it, so I'm going to have to search for the actual... Um, I'm gonna have to search for the actual Dumbo, D-U-M-B-O. I don't want the poster, I want the thing. Okay, Dumbo, secret rare, yep, yep. Uh, they're 139 in the market, that's 145. Is Dumbo, I, I, I know that Dumbo is about half the amount of mints as Mini. If they were the same amount of popularity, which they're not at all, um, you know, the same amount of popularity, then Dumbo would be twice the price. Now Dumbo's about 50% of the price of Mini, but he, he, there's no way uh, he's only like 0.75 for, uh, as popular. Mini is infinitely more popular. Uh, Mini will 100% overtake Dumbo at some point. I, and, and again, take a look at the partner statue. Let's see what the partner statue is before I go forward with this. I know I'm getting really distracted, but you know what? You know what, partners? I don't know why I'm like that. Um, I just am. I is what I is. But remember that episode of uh, Rugrats for Angelica? Oh my god, partner side is down to 2,500? 2,598, or 2,600. Um, yeah, that's, that's really low. And you get a three digit for 2,600. Um, and, and then the next other closest three digit is 3K, so that's really interesting. Um, yeah, that was really interesting. Uh, I, I would... Again, if I wasn't all in on Omi, and, and I'll go over me get, how, how I'm going to get more Omi in, in a minute. Um, here are pictures I haven't mailed out yet. Okay. Um, oh, my God. Pictures the invitation that she hasn't mailed out. Saturday, April 29th. I don't even know where I'm going to be. Oh, mother flapper. Okay, maybe, maybe I can be there. I am. Oh, I haven't told them about the work thing yet. Ooh. Well, definitely not in there for the 15th. I'm going to be away. 
Um, will uh, streaming right now will look at Shun. I put Un, Shun. Okay, there we go. Um, I forget where I was going with this. Was there? There wasn't any. There wasn't even any comment. It was just me being did did it. Oh yeah, there was the uh, the telegram thing, uh, and we're going over mini and, and all that. Um, the total potions out of nineteen twenty three, five hundred fifty four were uh, uncapped. So the potions remaining were thirteen eighty two. However, comma you do have to go and subtract another ninety from that because uh, because they keep ninety. So it's actually twelve ninety two potions remaining, and the potions take a look at we'll do i think if i just type in potion yes transformative potion that was at 190 the last time i looked 191 so i think the i think the potions will take a bit of a drop down after after the 24th because at that point you, you can't sell them for you can't transform them into anything but anyway my friend goes and says um bots need gems and they'll they'll keep dumping down the price, but the price has I, he says this, but the price has stayed relatively steady for like the last week. He says, uh, he says I won't buy it from a small account to ensure my gems go to a true collector. That's awesome, love that. I says is bots likely not able to redeem for posters because that requires holding a platinum moment and a potion. Not likely unless the strategy for bots are more sophisticated. Bots are all about that churning. It's like it's like people that um, I don't know do like online phone sales. They always like. They always have a churning amount of people in there. They they have someone in, they come in for a few weeks, and then and then they leave. That's what a lot of bots are like. They go in and say, okay, let me get this all about the quick flip. However, if they are evolving the same way that like, I don't know, like there are strains of like gonorrhea that have that are like bacterial resistant. Why do I know that? I don't know. It's just I wrote it on a Reddit post. Anyway, um if these are evolve if these bot strategies are evolving to where, oh hey. I'm not just going to flip the platinum moment. I'm going to hold it because now the strategy is to bump up the price of the poster or the potion, et cetera, et cetera. But MCP wise, the potion and poster set will be tied for the most MCP points of any set, which is freaking wild. Uh, so if, you, if you're all about those MCP points, like all about that base, all about these MCP points, then that was a really good way to go. Well, he'd prefer fewer people realize this. Oh, derp. <laughs> um, so blah, blah, blah. I won't say what he's stacking because that might be a little private. Uh, MCP comes to matter. Blah, 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 blah. HK Holmes. Yep. Um, yeah, only so many people can. So you not only get MCP points for based on rarity, but you can get extra MCP points based on lower mints. So if you get the lower mints of things that already give you a bunch of MCP points, like let's say the Disney posters, uh, a lot of the posters that are secret rares they give you a lot of points already. Uh, and if you get the low mints on top of that, they give you extra ones. It's just like th those are farms that you just can't beat, um, at, at least not in that particular one. Thank you for. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh, okay. All right. So, oh, my boy got. Oh my god, he got some epic comic books. Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace Number Three, nine point eight, and then uh, Star Wars a uh, same thing, but a different different cover art. Oh god, it looks so freaking cool. Darth Maul is so dope. I love him. Um, these are epic. I'm gonna tell him that right now. These are epic. I want waffles. Uh, feel free, yep, 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 okay. Um, so that's, all right, how I'm gonna get more Omi. That was the other thing on Twitter. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to work in a couple weeks. I wanna do it as soon as possible, but I have something to do ne next week, two weeks, you know, the middle of the month I have something to do. So um, I'm not gonna, What? it's gonna, the type of work I'll do it just be a random uh, kind of work as I go thing. I'm not gonna go and sign like a year contract or six month contract with anyone. I mean, like God, not God forbid. Worst case scenario is that you know Omi goes up before I'm able to make any real money, and okay, cool. Then then you know I just wasted a couple months. You know that that's about it. But most likely scenarios make a little bit of money, put a little bit more into VV, put as much as I can into Omi. Uh, the goal is 169 million by by uh, by Q4, by Dece sometime in Q4, so like December. Uh, and if I can do that, great. Uh, I really don't want to sell any this year. I really want to go and because again, Omi's so low. I'd rather wait until next year, even even if it's January 1st, sell a bunch. I don't have to worry about those taxes until 2025 if I don't sell until next year. 
so yeah, I, I would definitely go and, and uh, I'm buying now. Um, how much will I get? Again, I, I only have 157. So I need about 12 more million Omi, which is, let's say it's 75. Um, 0. 0.00075 times 12 million. About $9,000. Actually, not that bad. Um, I, I could definitely do that. You know, have 9,000 extra plus bills plus whatever. Um, yeah, but but like I said, I still I still do want other things. I want other. Um, I I don't just want more Omi. I want some VV stuff. Like there's a bunch of things right now that are super low. You know, when do you want to buy things? Do you want to buy things when when they're going up and they're super high? Like yo, VV NFTs just go down. The Omi coin just goes down. Okay, do you want to buy when it's when it's on its way down, or do you want to buy after it's already done like a five X or a ten X and it's on its way up? Freaking think about that. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm just a little mean. It was a, it was a little mean. But that's, you know what? Sometimes it got to be mean. Uh, and then I think that was it. And then I'll get over to the... I've been talking for half, almost a half hour. I'm so sorry, guys. Platinum Moments, Coins. Yeah. Okay. And that was it. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll go and say Legacy of Legacy. Legacy of Bermuda. This is a really strong beer. Like, how's it going, Leg? Hope you're doing fantastic. John P. 2404. Hi, Bill Garner says, "Let's crush this fud." Yeah, fud's silly. Fud's silly. I don't. I don't really understand why the. Uh, yeah, f I yeah. So fud is one thing, you know. The actual like actual. Hey, I'm a little worried. What's going on in the macro? Fear, totally understandable. Uncertainty. Hey, you know, this is a new platform, and there doesn't seem to be too many new users here. Can you know? Vivi's a private company. We don't know really what they're doing the money with. So so you're uncertain. Understand that. And like doubt, listen, the world's going to hell in the handbasket. Banks are, are going under. More banks are going to go under. Um, you have hyperinflation that might ensue. You have a lot of you know, potential housing crisis. So how is this NFT company, which is really just collectibles, how are they going to make it? Doubt. Like I, I understand the actual what FUD is, but I feel like a lot of what we see as FUD, like, all right, when you think of feminist, think of the word feminist and think of a person that represents the word feminist. What do you think of? You don't think of somebody that is just like, oh, I just want equal rights for women. No, a lot of times what you think of is that super tiny 1% of those radical feminists that, are, that just hate men, like specifically straight white men. And so when I think Fudsters, I don't think of like the logical, like, oh, hey, you know, uh, the, we have some legitimate questions. I think of like the whiners, the complainers, the, the haters. I um, think, think Walter Goggins said it best, like, don't, you know, I've, I've never had a hater that was more successful than I am. That is true. Um, yeah, uh, just, again, take a look at the people. I, I need to get Sanjay on the podcast. I haven't, uh, he was in India for a while. I don't know if he's back yet. Um, I'll go, but yeah, look at the people that are going on and look at the people that are going and saying, oh, hey, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep putting money into this. I know you see Clever Jerk with a lot of his new updates posts. You see, look at just the top 100 wallets. Get Omi the Clown, get uh, uh, Kelly the VV Fox, you know, at Rootless Girl on Twitter. Have, have it a track with the top 100 wallets. See what most of them are doing. They're all adding. Anyway, Connor says, go, go, go. What up, Connor? How's it going, fam? Zephazer says, uh, hello, K-Fud. What's going on? Um, yeah, yeah, he's he's very, very fud still. Fud, fudful? Filled with fud. Um... I, I don't know why. Uh, there, there's a lot of people that are like, so so. There's one or two things that I think are happening here, uh, or maybe maybe three things. Uh, you know, I, I actually Doctor of Stuff is having Hello K on his podcast, and he's like VV fanboy gone rogue or something like that. I forget what the title is. I think it premieres tomorrow. Um, you have um, you have some people that were super bullish on Vivi and Omi. And then they go from super bullish to very, very bearish. Now you could make the argument that some of the people uh, that are bearish, that maybe, that, that, that are probably paid for it. Um, I'm not gonna try to speculate on who that is, uh, but there have been people that have been called out for that before that have been, that have gotten paid um, to fund Vivi. Are any of the people that I'm talking about, are any of those people? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no proof, no evidence. Um, that's just for other people to speculate, not me. Um, 
if I were fighting, or if I look at anyone who's fighting, okay, why are they fighting? And especially if they were once super heavy on Vivi and Omi and they don't have Vivi or Omi anymore, it's either it's either to drive the price down so that they can get in cheaper, which, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, I, I respect that. Um, is that the right thing to do? No, that's like you're, you're, you're convincing people that are trusting you at, to sell so that they're, they're selling their bags for cheap. So you can get your bags even cheaper. Uh, and then when it goes up, like you're, you're talking them out of a bad investment. That is absolutely the wrong thing to do. Talk, trying to talk them out of a good investment. Again, wrong thing to do. Um, however, I respect the hustle. And I'm not saying that's what these people are doing. But we do have people, again, you mentioned Kay and, and Mr. Pags, you know, had uh, was talking about me the other day. said, listen, I told Randy to sell. I told him to sell at, you know, double zero two. And he's right. He did. He did tell me to sell at double zero two. Um, I mean, I figured we'd go down a little bit more. I didn't think we'd get down here. I didn't think we'd drop like another 60%. Um, but but I, I, I figured we would a little bit. Um, and he did tell me to sell. And I, I don't think it's because he also wanted like I, i'm pretty sure he would have told me if it was if it was to go and uh drive the price down to get in cheaper he genuinely believed that it would go down for legit well i don't say legitimate reasons for the reasons that for any of you that seen him on my podcast me and him share share a lot of things in common uh one of those things being conspiracy theories and the things you know a lot of them they're fun to discuss and we actually don't know some we, we can guess that are true, but some we actually don't know. Some are very much speculation. Um, one of the things that we had talked about is like, hey, the Simpsons. Hey, the Simpsons have kind of like predicted everything. It's like, I think that's them warning us against like the New World Order, NWO. And it's like, I don't know, man. I, I think that that's probably just, you know, the coincidence. And it's like, is it really? Come on, bro. Think about it. I was like, uh, okay, yeah, it is very much a coincidence. Um and, you know, showing me clips of, like, nuclear nuclear fallout and, like, World War Three, And it's like, Pags, I... Listen, if, if we're going to a World War Three thing, it, it doesn't matter. We're, like, we're, we're all going to get hecked. It, like, crypto doesn't matter in, like, a World War Three scenario, most likely. Um, so, again, I don't think Pags was one that was trying to fund to, to get the stuff down. It was more just because he, Jimmy thought it was going down because of the macro. And that is a fair concern. Macro is kind of scary. Uh, so I understand. The... But some other people that are that are fighting, it's it's really strange because you why why continue to stick around to a community where you say you've left? It means you secretly love it. It's like, oh yeah, I don't care about my ex girlfriend anymore. I don't, you know, I, she means nothing to me. And that you're stalking her Facebook page, you're stalking her Insta, you're stalking like her LinkedIn or whatever it is. Um, the people that have you know just just can't help but talk negative. You ever remember um, uh, in Mean Girls where Lindsay Lohan says, like, if I wasn't talking about Regina George, I would wait for somebody else to bring up Regina George so I could talk about Regina George. It's these people that, that claim to hate on Vivi and claim to... It's, it's like even like abusers or people that, that have bad relationships with like their kids or fathers or, or exes. Like, okay, I might not have a good relationship with them, but a bad relationship where we pick fights, at least they're paying attention to me. At least they get some of that attention. Um, and that's, and that's really what I'm seeing. You know, it's a lot of people's first bear market. It's a lot of people's first time investing in general. So when you have this bear market and you have this, um, you know, getting punched in the face, like for the first time ever, if you've never been punched in the face, you can mean this both figuratively, figuratively, literally, and then you get punched in the face. It's, it's a whole new world. It is, it, it's a new thing and you, you don't know how to deal with it unless it's happened to you before. So those of us that have been here that have had the, uh, you know, gone through financial crises before, or have actually gotten punched in the face like a thousand times, like myself, you just know how to act. You can put your sunglasses on, like, all right, I've been here before, I know what to do. Um, a lot of other people don't know how to act. And, you know, them acting out gets some attention. And if you've never gotten attention before, and suddenly you're getting attention, well, you know, that suddenly being relevant when you've never been before, it's, it's an interesting feeling. And again, people don't know how to act. Anyway, moving on. The Real Deal says, Randy Chavez is from way behind the arch. Oh, you ever watch Kuroko's Basketball? Kuroko's Basketball is so good. 
Pro Goes Basketball. Ah, such a good good show, good movie. Jordan Riz says, yo, Randy, yo, what up, Jordan Riz, how's it going? BB OG Pooski says, just completed the Disney poster set by burning four more potions. You completed the set. Ma heckin' G. Um, good for you, mate. Good for you. Um, well, ooh, what is this? And we have CNN. Oh, Klaus Tuber, creator of the blockbuster board game Catan, has died. Everyone comment F down below to pay respects for the creator of Settlers of Catan. Um, we lost the legend, boys. That's a great game. I'm going to try to play it at some point in, memory, in honor of his memory, Klaus Tuber. Uh, like I said, everyone comment F down below to pay respects. Um, he, he's, he will miss the release of the augmented reality version of his game. Oh, that is sad. Anyway, we've got other stuff to talk about. Potential human says the upward gesturing human digit is empty unless you fill it with your like. Yeah, smash that like button. That says more about those humans than it does Randy at NFT Hero. Uh, his message was retracted, so I couldn't even hear it. I couldn't even see it. Turtle says, how's the Infinity Gems brew? Airdrop, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. Actual airdrop for the Infinity Stones? We, we're not going to know. They, they haven't set an airdrop yet. So we don't actually know that we're getting an airdrop. I'm pretty sure we're getting the sixth Infinity Stone. We're going to get the Soul Stone. How do we get it? I don't know. Uh, and Maybe a Gamora. Oh, dude, that would be wild if they somehow mixed it with the Marvel Mighties. Because Guardians of the Galaxy comes out next month. What's going to come with that? Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Mighties. Now, we already have Groot in several different forms. Um, so, but, but we don't have this, like, thick Groot. You know, like, the teenage, like, the thick, thick Groot that we have here. Which is technically the offspring of the original Groot that we saw in the Guardians 1, uh, 2, and... Or Guardians 1 and, uh... Yeah, Guardians 1. So, what you'll see is probably Groot. You'll probably have Star-Lord. Uh, Star you'll probably have Gamora. You might have Adam Warlock. He might be the secret rare. I'm not sure yet. Um... You're gonna have Drax. You're gonna have uh, whoever the heck Karen Page. Um, Thanos' other daughter. Uh, you're gonna have Rocket. Oh, I love Rocket so much. He's probably the ultra rare. He's really cool. Uh, and then you'll have uh, Mantis. So there's actually gonna be a lot. There's gonna, gonna be a lot of them that we're probably gonna get. Um, maybe we might even have ten. It's been a while since we had anything more than six or seven, I guess, with, with the airdrops. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if, if we have Gamora, and then they say, oh, hey, burn Gamora for the Soul Stone. Dude, if we if we have that, I'm I'm going to lose it. That 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 would be probably the... Gamora would probably be the scarcest uh, Marvel Mighty, because everyone's going to burn her. Because uh, they're going to get the... They're going to want that six Infinity Stone. And then if you have all six, what happens if you get the Infinity Stone? If you have all six, do you get the gauntlet? If you have all six, like, do you get some airdrop? I don't know. But yeah, again, Disney is not allowed to give uh, utility to something unless they go and announce it beforehand. But they are not Marvel. They might own Marvel, and they might have get all the profits, a lot of profits that Marvel generates, but they are not Marvel. You know how, like, the grandfather paradox is, like, if you go, like, the grandfather paradox, you go back in time and shoot your grandfather... He doesn't have your dad, who doesn't have you. So how do you go back in, in time and then uh, shoot your grandfather? You can't. That's the paradox. So what that means is that if you go back in time, you see somebody that is in every way your grandfather, but is not your grandfather. I forget where I was going with this. Oh my God, what was I, th what was I saying? <sighs> paradox, uh, Infinity Stones. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I, I lost this train of thought, and it was a really good point, too, and I messed it up. That That's my bad. That was my badsies. Um, what was, maybe I could see if I go Gems Brew. Nope, that was it. Uh, the, the thought is lost. This is a good beer. Uh, but yeah, if we, if we were to go and do that, Gamora would probably be the scarcest Marvel Mighty, and that Infinity Stone... Oh yeah, all right, so that was Marvel is not Disney. Marvel is Disney, but it's not Disney. It's its own separate company. So they don't have to necessarily abide by the same rules as Disney does. Just because Disney has to go and announce utility beforehand doesn't mean that Marvel does. 
So I think it is possible that we do get uh, some type of utility for all Infinity Stones, even though they didn't announce it beforehand. But again, just my opinion. Where was that? Dean Dynamos, thoughts on the latest drop? Um, if we're talking about the Peely Fantasy, I I assume the Ultra Rare is going to, or Secret Rare, whatever that is, I assume that's above uh, above retail. Common is definitely not. Ultra Rare. All right, Secret Rare is, Secret Rare is 80 bucks. So the Ultra Rare might might be close to, Ultra Rare is above, uh, above, what's that called? The Ultra Rare is above uh, retail as well. So that's interesting. I guarantee you the Rare is not, it's 18 bucks. Uh, the Uncommon is probably, oh, it's 15. Uh, so the Common, what's the Common? Common's the 12. All right. Uh, and we have a couple of people that really want gambling, like Inoi22. Inoi22 has three up for sale right now. Um, so he, he definitely tried for that Secret Rare. I don't know if he got it or not. Um, and then we have the Scro the Uncle Scrooge Adventures tomorrow. And uh, I, I don't know how how many, 7,500 of those? 10,000 of those. I don't, and well, they're, they're, it's $10. All right. Interesting. I don't know how well that's going to do, but we'll see. Yeah, Peely Fantasy, like I said, they just got hecked. They got hecked because they don't have the, um, you know, they came on a day that was just already, a, you know, almost a $200,000 day. Jordan Reed says, I love the Kangs. Kangs are, I haven't, they definitely didn't sell out. Let's, let's see what we got here. All right, so Kang 1, which is the rare. Uh, it, it sold, uh, let's say like 1500 of them, and then the Kang 2, Ultra Rare, well, that's the 80 bucks, um, that had sold, oh, nice, that, that sold about 700, uh, so, yeah, uh, those, those sold a decent amount, and uh, the Ultra Rare is above, above the retail, and to Heroes App, I agree, Turtle says, let's hike and go! Wes says Randy equals goat. Oh, I thank you. I, I appreciate it very much, sir. The real deal says Randy about to be bust light here. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, this, this is a this is very, very powerful beer. I think I'm just going to limit myself to one, though. You know, just, just a little treat. Um, and to Hero says Wes, yeah, yeah. Squid Cat, let's, let's get this bread. Yo, what up, Squid Cat? How's it going? Josh says Randy, buy my VV logo. Um, what's the VV logo at? Let's take a look, see. Oh, message from Lady Friends. Just curious for the plan. Uh, yes. Um, I do plan to. I do plan to. Okay. Um, VV logo. It's at 32 hundo. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, if I, I already have two. If I didn't have any, sure, uh, I definitely would. But you know, the fact that I have two already, you know, I don't need another one that bad. Uh, and also, I was supposed to get paid on something. I'm not getting paid on that. So, yeah, I, I that's just part of the reason why I had to go to work as well. I was spending some money to come in, not coming in. So we we need to get uh, this is what this is what Chavez needs to go go. And I I got my, I, I need to spend. I need to go and get more stuff, and I need more money for that. Uh, so I, I don't think I can buy your logo right now. Um, maybe in the future. We'll see. News Now Marijuana says Thor and his th <laughs> Thunder Rooster. That's what I'll call it. Thunder Rooster. Not, uh, yeah. <laughs> Turtle, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks, Randy, for helping build this community. Let's go, Golden Dragon Collecting Club. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, go. Oh, dude, there's a, what, what's it called? There's a group called Power Glove. Uh, Power Glove, what they do is they take they take things that are pretty awesome already and they make them more awesome. How do they make them more awesome? By making them metal. So, Star uh, not Star Wars, Power Rangers, you know, has pretty awesome guitar riffs and solo and the theme song already. But what they do in Power Glove is that it's super metal. Like, and then it goes, oh, dude, it is... It is so heckin' dope. I do it with that. I do it with the X-Men theme. Power Glove is just, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful things of, of pieces of music that they turn into metal. Anyway, News Down Marijuana says, you're 
Ultra rare, land, uh, ultra rare Randy. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. Squid Cat says the Peely Fantasy artwork is amazing, but Tarzan is meh. Uh, yeah, um, well, the Tarzan is not the Tarzan of Disney. It's like the old school Tarzan. And I will tell you this. They've been planning this for a while. <laughs> they've, they've been planning this since last year, <laughs> this Tarzan. Uh, we might, uh, not that we get another Moana drop. They're, they're making a Moana movie now. Like a live action movie, like not just an, an animated like Moana Part Two. It's a live action. I think the quickest they've ever gone from "Hey, this is a good animated movie. Let's make a live action." So strange, so so. so. But again, the live actions, even though people are tired of them, they do so well. Lion King, billion dollars. Like a bunch of the live actions make close to a billion dollars or more. You know, Beauty and the Beast, a billion dollars. Like, why would Disney not make these if they make so much money? They're going to. They're a hundred percent. I'm I'm surprised there isn't a live action Frozen yet. Honestly, you could get Kristen Bell as I, like she's she's still so beautiful. Uh, she's definitely not like the teenager that you know Anna and and Elsa actually are. You would that'd be interesting to see who they get. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Stan says I'm with you on the potential of Marvel Mighties. Do you see any potential with the value of full size Marvel animation versions? Thanks. Oh, uh, well, the Mighties, I... Listen, I just like them. I... Like I said, in the IP-branded worlds, there's no guarantee that we get Marvel or, or, or Disney. If if Disney's going to come in, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll let us have Marvel. And even if it is Marvel, it's not going to be like a Marvel Mighty world. I mean, that be I, I could be wrong, but it would probably just be, hey, here's a Marvel world, and you could use all your Marvel NFTs in it. Maybe it's gated, you have to have Marvel NFT. I, I don't know. I, again, I don't think they would necessarily be gamified. I think it would be, oh, you have a Marvel Mighty, now you get the skin of what this Marvel Mighty represents, that type of deal. Um, I, I just like them. And again, you, this is the longest running set of things. I, maybe James Bond is a little bit different. James Bond might have more drops. But as far as drops are concerned, in, in one long loop there, James Bond and Marvel Mighty are the number one and two, like, long list of, of things in, in one set. In, in one, hey, look, these are the sets that are in this group, in this collection. Marvel Mighty's can go on forever. Like, there, there are no shortage of movies that they could do, that they've already done, that they could, yeah. We're, we're going to have, we're going to have some fun stuff here. Um, X-Men Marvel Mighty's would be dope AF. Now, they do already have, you know... They already have the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they already have Storm. She's the first X-Men on here. Um, and, and a lot of people really don't want Wolverine as a Marvel Mighty. They didn't want Hulk as a Marvel Mighty. I think Hulk would have been great as Marvel Mighty. Now he's, you know, his own, he's his own man. He's his own mutated freak guy. Um, I really wish they'd have it for shows. They don't. They more of have, again, why they didn't do a Ms. Marvel Marvel Mighties is because she's going to be part of the uh, Captain Captain Marvel 2. So for the Captain Marvel 2, which they might be delayed, we are supposed to get Marvel Mighties for that. So that'll be because they, they, they do movies. They don't necessarily do shows. Anyway, the actual, the large pieces is just first appearance of Deadpool on the blockchain. People are going to want that. You know, people are going to want first appearance of Storm. People are going to want Daredevil is a fan favorite. People love him. Um, so yeah, I, I think they're all going to do really well long term. Short term, I've I have no idea, but long term, yeah. Um, I I do see I do see like how do, how much potential value I don't know. I mean they'll be higher than they are now, especially in a bull market, especially people that just love Marvel. First appearance of on the blockchain, I think is special. Hot dog car people says not financial advice. What do I do with my sub one forty potion? I have Dumbo from the drop. What to do? Well, you could sell the potion and that, well, what's the poster for Dumbo? How much is that? Let's look at the Dumbo poster. And let's see what that is. Cause that's probably gonna be much more than the collectible. Well, it's at 165. You could sell the potion for 190. Oh, it's not really gonna be worth it. I mean, you, you can sell it for 190. You, you, you'll get 170 something gems out of it and then you buy the poster for 165 and you net like 
eight gems. I, I really don't think that's worth it, all that work for eight gems. Um, and, and you have a sub 140, so maybe you can get more. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I think you'd probably sell that for more than the floor for potions, but that's just me. Cosmos A says, your prediction on the total crypto market cap in the next run, trillions of dollars, if we're doing total crypto, um, trillions, um, I don't think it'll go past five trillion, I don't know, let's, let's take a look, let's take a look, let, let's see, let's do a, a multiplier by some things, and we'll do, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, um, Bitcoin's mark is at twenty eight thousand. Market cap is at half a trillion. Well, honestly, it's going to be two trillion dollars, really, just for Bitcoin. It might be two point five trillion just for Bitcoin. Um, one point two, so that'd be three seven. Uh, yeah, honestly, um, you 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 could be looking at five trillion dollar market cap for all of crypto, maybe even more. Um, and again, that's all of crypto. Josh says, why not diversify a little? You have plenty of Omi. Omi continues to be the best bang for my buck. I, I mean, you have other things that could outperform it. You have, you have other things that will outperform Omi, but nobody knows what they are. It's very, very impossible to tell which ones. Now, if you had $100,000 and you said, I'm going to put it into 100 different cryptos, a lot of which meme coins, you're, you're, you're probably going to have one or two that, that do a thousand X. Um, so it's a thousand times a thousand. Okay. So, you know, you, you add three zeros and, and you get a million dollars, but a hundred thousand dollars into Omi and you know, you, you do, you do a hundred X, you know, and, and you add two zeros, you know, that's 10 million, you know, that that's not 1 million. Um, so, you know, you, you do the math. I, I would, I, 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 I would stick with Omi, um, but that's just me. That That's why I'm doing it. Other people is like, okay, well, you could, you don't have to pick, you know, just do Russian roulette with it. You can go and pick other things and whichever one goes up first, then you go and put it into the things that you know, like Omi, that, that'll go up. And it's like, okay, I could do that. Um, probably should do that. But when Omi does go up, it's, it is going to rock it off like Vesuvius and I want to, like, I don't know, when you when you have a good investment, you make like it's a horsecock and you're Catherine the Great and you just hold on, you don't let go. Uh, that That's just, again, I've done that before with, not not with not with Catherine the Great reference. I've done that before with Tesla, high-risk lending, with Pokemon cards. And, you know, I, I was definitely early in this, but I, I'm not wrong. So uh, as that goes up, that'll outperform anything. I'll sell off some Omi. Uh, again, I don't, when I do sell off, when we go up or towards a penny, I, I'll. Right now, if we if we got up to a penny tomorrow, I'd sell seven million, and or or eight. I have one fifty eight. I'm sorry, I have one fifty eight. Um. So I I would sell eight million, and that would be a nice eighty thousand dollars, um, and then I same thing wouldn't have to work for another year, um, pr probably a couple years, and. Oh, well, maybe a year. I mean, I would, I would pay off some stuff. I would live life. I would get, you know, um, but you're just not going to do that with, with other coins that might not do, you know, a, a 15 X by next year was what I think you can do. Anyway, uh, where was I? John P says some person is paid to FUD VV. Yeah, I know. Uh, NFT hero says, um, someone has gone over the top with the FUD. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I don't want to call them out because I don't want no drama, but I know. Potential Human says, most FUD trolls are NVCs, non-VV characters. That's fair. That's fair. McGarner says, I'm speculating that, uh, that somebody else is being paid. Uh, yeah, pro probably. He says, he's very strategic in his comments, asking questions that are negative in nature and making people think badly towards VV. At bare minimum, he is manipulating. Agreed. Skitty P says, everything... Evening, Randy Adashi fam. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> MT Hero says, criticism helps. However, the FUD is over the top. It do be over the top, though. And this is how I think we know we're near the bottom. Um, unknown VV OG Whale says, hi. MT Hero says, I've paid by who? Um, by the... 
Well, I, I won't speculate. I mean, so, someone DM him <laughs> and we'll be able to tell. Omar Kassad is a hi, brother. What's going on, Omar? Cheers, mate. Hope you're doing well. Omar is another man that has a lot of Omi that is uh, really getting up there with it. Very proud of him. Josh says, I don't want to be a downer, but I have a big bag. The vision of the project has absolutely changed. I'm still hopeful something pans out. Oh, it's going to pan out very, very well. The question is when. I I, I don't know. It's probably going to be several months from now. Um, but it's fine. That's why I'm going back to work because I, I feel like I have definitely at least this quarter, if not throughout a lot of Q3, to, to stack. You know, I, I think we get Omi to NFT in Q3. I should probably have exchanges after that. Maybe Q4. But yeah. Omar Kasaje says, how did, uh, how you did at Iron Man drop today? I hit ultra rare from the drop. Oh, same here, Omar. Same here. Hit the ultra rare from the drop. And that is the key to making things work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bogart says, NFT hero competitors possibly? Yeah. And here says that Bogunner, I think he's down bad and trying to get VV to do something. I mean, he's not, he's not even in it, so it doesn't really matter. Skinny P says, I'm with you. Uh, you can make anything look coincidental. Oh, I tripped and fell today and find a clip of Bart falling down and say, oh, see? Yeah, I feel you. Bill Garner says, I have to hero. Also could be flooding for a lot of rails accumulate. Maybe himself accumulate. Also possible. Uh, Omar says, yep, those fighters love VV, but don't admit it. It does harm new users on how some disrespects the owners. Yeah, it's also true, but I mean, kind of, but not really. I mean... When I was like really looking into Tesla, hey, there's a lot of people talking about really negative things about Tesla. How Elon's doing like manipulated accounting, and and he could be going to jail. I, I should really look into this. And then you look into it and feel and realize this is bold dinky. Um, and after you realize it's absolute BS, you're like, oh, okay, something's wrong with these people. Um, and I get it. Not everyone's going to look that deeply into an investment, although you should. Um, when people go and they say, oh, these, you know, there's, these guys are speaking eloquently and they sound like they know what they're talking about. Let me, let me take a look into it. And when you find that there's no substance there, you're like, oh, okay. Well, that person's losing credibility forever. Um, what was that question again? Funny for, uh, or as well, you won't admit it. Yeah. It's like when, like when you're younger and you're just like, you don't want anyone to know that you watch Powerpuff Girls because that's a girl show, but it's so good. You know, it's like people are in, in the same breath. They they don't want to admit that they love Vivi because they don't want to be seen as like, they're scared of the hate. They're like, oh, how's your bags doing? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, how are your bags doing? You know, and then you're siding with those people. And I mean, they'll learn, you'll have a bunch of people that'll love Vivi again. It, it's going to be in an instant. Um, but yeah, when someone like disrespects the owners, I, I mean, for me, that never, I never... I never look at that. I always look at what the owners are actually doing and, and what their, what their thesis is and, and how they're, they're building on that. If, if you can't find out what, what the owners are actually doing, what they're building towards, you're, you're, you're not trying hard enough there. And you don't need a direct line to David or Dan to, to find out, you watch, watch my interview link down below, you know, uh, the one with David, you, I, I've had, I've had him on three times. Uh, watch any of those. Watch any interview that he does, whether it's with VV Magic, it's with uh, any any interview with David Yu or Dan Crothers over the last couple of years, and you'll you'll see. You'll know their heart. Watch the Binance interview. Watch watch something that's more recent. You know, watch. Uh, you know, he's been on Lori Brenner's Spaces. Um, you there's a lot of different. There's a lot of different interviews you can go towards. There's even one where someone was just at London Decon, just talking to him for like an hour, and, and it's and it's up there somewhere. Um, that's you know, don't pay attention to what anyone else their interpretation of it. What's your interpretation of it? How do you view those interviews? Is he being truthful? Obviously, I wouldn't have spent over half a million dollars into the ecosystem if I didn't think that he was truthful. But again, it's just my opinion. Uh, potential human says that skinny Pete, the Simpsons hire many advanced degrees for writers and make it a point to many predictions of vast majority that do not come true. Well, that's a fair point as well. It's like Nostradamus making a million different predictions. Eight come true. He was right. He knew. And you know, eh, 
interpretations go about differently as well. Bill Garner says, add NFT hero. Also notice it started once you started leverage trading Bitcoin under, oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Omar says, rip legend. Yep, rip legend. Bill Garner says, add NFT hero. Maybe he's lost big time in trying to make up his losses somewhere. It's possible as well. John B. Yang says, love what you do, Randy. Been a while since I've been here and came by to say hello before I head out today. Oh, me to the moon. Oh, cheers, John, John B. Yang. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, and Tiro says that Bill Gardner also definitely possible. Omar says, I saw Mighties at Disney Store yesterday. Hey, yo, Mighties, let's go. I love it. Um, and we have, oh, all right, we got a couple of messages here. Wasn't sure. Uh, um, I still plan to. Um, we'll let you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll go back to work for a couple of weeks because, like I said, I do have a couple of things in the, uh, in, in mid April that I do need to. I need, I do want to do beforehand. Um, endless loop art. Okay, figure that out. Thoughts on the Tarzan drop? Um, well, it does. It's not the Disney Tarzan license. It's the. Uh, let's go to it. Let's take a look. See, at this Tarzan license. Okay, let's go to Vivi. And we'll take a look at the actual. I think. Do we have the medium article? No, we don't, but we have the license. Um, Tarzan, Edgar Rice Burroughs. So we'll have to go to the Google and type in Edgar Rice Burroughs, who's an American writer, born in 1875. God damn, and died in 1950, wow. Um, American writer best known for his pro uh, prolific output in the adventure, science fiction, and fantasy genres, best known for creating the characters Tarzan and John Carter, Oh, wow, he created John Carter? Also wrote the uh, Pel Pel Pelucidar series? The Amtor series and the Sass Pack trilogy. I don't I don't even know what that is. Um, but yeah, he's. I guess they're the ones that they had to get the license from. It's not from Disney. Um, Disney just, I guess that's in the open domain and Disney just did its thing with it. So that's interesting that they had to go, they couldn't go through Disney for it. They had to go through the Edgar Rice Burroughs that's interesting. Okay, that, that's why it's not the Disney one. Okay. Um, but I think it's cool. I, I, I'll, I'll know more. I'll have more of a opinion on it when we see how many mints they are, how much how much they are per per. And I'll, I'll keep you posted. Darth Chaos says, hello there. Ah, General Darth Chaos. Prince Toby says he owns exactly 111,467 Omi. It's not too much, probably. Gonna buy more soon. Well, I mean, it depends how long you have it. I, I mean... Prince Toby, if, if you, I know you're pretty young, you can, you can hold it until you're in your early to mid twenties, Pro probably even, like super early twenties, let's say, you know, six years and, and, and you could possibly have a hundred thousand dollars. Um, that is to, to have a hundred, to have six figures at that age is ridiculous. Um, now granted, I didn't really start making money until after the military. So I didn't actually start my finance journey until I was 26. And, you know, so I, I was poor up until that point. And, you know, if you, if you take a look at, at going and, and, uh, say like, Hey, you, you could be, it's not, it's not like you're starting at 21 um, well, well, I was starting at 26 at the 26. Again, that's if you hodl and that's if, you know, my predictions come to pass, you know, you could possibly have a hundred thousand dollars with that. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, you're, you're one, you, you would be able to do at that point, you would have accomplished more than most people in the world ever do. A hundred thousand dollars is not easy. It is, it is hard. Um, so to be able to get that just by hodling for like six years, you know, even if you have to wait a little bit longer, that's a really, really nice starting point. Anyway, potential human says talking about lawyers and airdrops, lawyers and airdrops. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Bill Gardner says at Prince Toby, good job. Every coin counts. It does. It do be counting them. Omar Xadja says today, Akira Toriyama, 68th birthday. Happy birthday, Akira Toriyama. Actually, so... I want to go into my calendar and go to, what is it, April 4th? April 4th of next year. 
And I'm gonna put Akira, Toriyama. I change it to teriyaki. 69 B day. Everyone coming nice on the low of 69. Anyway, it's close. It's close, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Bogart says, I'm holding out buying anything in case there's a Mario announcement. Oh, dude, if there's a Mario announcement, I'm gonna freak the freak out. What I'm gonna do now is freak the freak out. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, dude, if there's a Mario announcement, if we get that, well, well that, that comes out. That, that comes out in a couple days. If we were to have a Mario NFT thing for it, I feel like we would have gotten an announcement already. You know, that's... Yeah, I, I don't think we're getting a Mario uh, license. I, again, just because if we were going to, we would have gotten it already. Um, I feel like, you know, they, they could surprise us. Dude, if we got that gem squeeze, gem squeeze to the freaking... Oh my god, that, that would be the squeeze of all squeezes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Or was I? Henry Overseas says, Morning, Randy. I feel like the potions are just lurking a pump soon because people are just waiting to see what happens. If Namor could pump the 400, this will as well, or the poster will pump. It's so fun. Well, Namor only had 1,000 mints, technically 910, and you needed Namor in order to get the Black Panther uh, NFT. Now, granted, Namor is really not a popular character. I think he's down to like $90 now. Um, but you, you needed him to get the the Black Panther NFT, which people would love. And that's the best looking Mighty, I feel like, is, is the Black Panther one. Now I have five Namors, all of them sub 100, as a G like that. And I have two um, two sub 100 uh, Black Panther, Sherry Black Panthers. Um, but it's, I, I, I mean, again, the, po the poster, the potion you had 1833 of, because they take away 90 from 1923, so. It's not not nearly as scarce, but again, you are need them to get these posters, and they are secret rares. And yeah, it, it's interesting to see where it will go. Henry Overseas says uh, we would have to see closer to the end date for the potions. Agreed. It'll say, but it's uh, going to get wild for the posters or the potions. It's gonna, yeah, uh, it is going to get wild. I think for the po for the posters though, uh, but but who knows? That could surprise us. Prince Toby says it's time to confess to confess my sins about a year ago. I bought a blue colored common Batgirl for 120, which I thought was edition 120, but it was actually edition <laughs> 12,023. That was down to $5. Oh, you know what? It, it happens. It, it, it just, it happens. I understand. Um, that's a, that's a really funny one though. Like we, we've all done it. Like we've all done stuff like that. Like you might not have been here for it, but back in the day, most people here that's watching right now probably weren't here for it. But back in the day, in like February, March of 2021, what you used to see is very similar to Earth 2, where at the top of like the homepage, Earth 2 would show you certain plots of, of land that are for sale and certain, you know, all the numbers of what each, uh, the floor of each country was going for, the tiles in that country. Very similarly, Vivi went and they put, oh, here's a new listing. They put all the new listings up top. And I saw, uh, oh, hey, cool. Someone posted their... Uh, their Nessie, you know, their Loch Ness monster for sale for 28 gems. Cool. I'm going to buy it. And I, because it was sorted by new listing and not the floor, I bought it for 28 gems. The floor was like eight gems. I was like, oh, like, you know, um, you know, I, it, we, we all do it. We, we all do, do stuff like that. Uh, and then you learn. Fred always says, have you watched Naruto? And if so, what was your favorite arc? Mine is the faded battle between the brothers arc Itachi Susano armor was awesome. Um, I I've watched a little bit of Naruto. Um, it was supposed to be my replacement after Dragon Ball Z had ended, and I watched a little bit of it. And I just at the time it just wasn't Dragon Ball Z, and I really couldn't get into it, so I didn't. And I um, since then I feel a little bit behind on the anime stuff. Um, I know Naruto is one of, like, the greatest animes, like, ever. Uh, I just didn't, um, you know, I just didn't. So, yeah. Anyway. Dan O says, the quality of the collectibles varies so much sometimes. I find it odd. I think maybe the team underestimates how much of a wow factor there is in super high quality. Use that money to improve. 
Yeah, I mean, the Hulk one still hasn't sold out, but the Hulk one, it on the preview, it didn't look that good. But then on the actual, on the actual drop, the actual animation does look very good, in my opinion. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of the the teasers, like the teaser for Cookie Monster, like, eh, and then the animation was pretty cool. It's like, oh, that's that's pretty awesome. But again, just my opinion. Chago Solo says, hey fam. Hey Chago. Jordan Riz says, we gotta be strong when others are weak. I'm gonna hold that bag. Only forever. Yeah, um, I'm gonna hold that bag too for as long as I can. Yeah. Uh, Guy Fox says, hey all, rare on the drop today. Lots of fun about Vivi. Must be doing something right. Haters gonna hate. Stay the course. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Sorry, I love Taylor Swift. Bill Garner says, when people are crying, I'm buying. Just picked up another one million. Bill Garner, what do you have with Omi now? You've, you've gotten a lot recently. You, you're you getting that bread. You are you're going hard. You're going strong. You're long and I'm strong. I'm gonna get that friction on. Maybe got back. Sorry. Jordan Riz says, haha, love, love it, big BG. Love it. Omar says, you're right. And they have tremendous work ethic. Smarty Pants says, was good. Back from my workout. Always glad to have you back from your workout, Smarty Pants. Ooh, that beer is making me not feel so good. <laughs> it was good when it happened, but... I need to start getting back to the workouts tomorrow. Anyway. Uh, Omar says, you're right. They have tremendous work. I just read that. Ginferno says, howdy. What's going on, Ginferno? I, I, I love I love that dog profile picture of yours. Omar says, uh, did you saw, did you say the next drop on Elmon X? It's a very good one. The poet, aka the thinker. I did not see that. That is pretty dope, though. They have amazing, amazing drops. Um, well, they have amazing art pieces. And, you know, just, just from that in general, it's really good. Okay, Bill Garner saying, I was common gang today with the comic. Ugh. Sorry you were, oh god, my body. Sorry you were common gang. Um, oh my god, speaking of gang, Smarty Pants has 503 Plutos. Guess I'll just keep going. When is enough enough, Smarty Pants? When is enough enough? How much Omi do you have? You could be getting more Omi, but you don't. You, you go and you get the, you go and you get the, uh, oh, that's so cute. You go and you get the, uh, the Plutos. What happens if they give us an actual Pluto? Are you going to stack them too? This is wild. You're, I mean, you, you are the store. You are the store for Plutos. Um, heckin' dope. Uh, Jin Fernal says, that's my dog, Gus. Oh, my friend Mark used to have a dog named Gus. I used to love that little guy. He was so heckin' cute. Uh, I'm gonna go to my YouTube studio and I'm gonna read some comments off there and answer them for you if you know there's there's time. Uh, I, well, there's I, I actually answered all of them already, so we we good we we Gucci, we good. Uh, I guess that'll be it for me today. Um, we have a little bit to we we had a little bit to go over. We went over it. I answered all the questions. I th I think we're good. Um, I have to see what this address is. Oh, I don't want to go to Jersey. I really don't want to go to Jersey. Well, it's a celebration of the marriage, so I might have to go to Jersey. I'll keep everyone posted. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. And Turtle, thank you so much for the super chat, saying thanks, Randy, for help building this community. Let's go Golden Dragon Collection Club. Bye, guys. Meow, 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 meow. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Smarty Pants says, uh, or Bill Garner says, Smarty Pants Legend. Smarty Pants says, 56 collectibles away from 4,000 total collectibles and comics, too. Only got 9 or 10 million Omi, but I bought at 0009 to 001. That's a really good buy-in price. Prince Toby says, nah, man, I don't uh, don't feel like you're behind because I get behind, especially when I have to keep up with Naruto, Attack on Titan, One Piece, the current Dragon Ball Super Manga, Bleach, Black Clover, and My Hero Academia. It's hard. It's very hard. Should first have a good night, everyone. Night, guys. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, good. Hiccup.